It's the same story each time. You go on Instagram, you see a super cute outfit, and you're like, wow, I want that. So you check out the price, and you're turned off like you just found out your crush thinks hating K-pop makes them better than everyone. Tragic, I know. But what if I told you you could turn your old clothes into the newest IG trends with just some snipping and sticking? Don't believe me? Let me give you some advice. Never underestimate a broker with a rich woman's taste. What is up YouTube? If this is your first time seeing me, hi, hello. My name is Fran, I'm a fashion blogger and I love to create all kinds of content on styling, trend reports, hauls, DIYs, but my all-time favorite thing to do is give tips and tricks on how to cop luxury styles or generally fun trends affordably and easily. So for today's video, we're going to be doing four projects that are in line with those exact things. As you guys know, I am a huge shopping fanatic. I literally spend 97% of my day online shopping or online window shopping so I've seen a lot of really cute tops on Instagram going viral everywhere and of course they are massively overpriced and you know me if I feel like I can make it I will attempt to make it so I have four DIYs for you guys today first we have a crop cardigan then we have two dresses and then a special trendy top that I've been seeing like literally everywhere it's just this cute tie front thing you guys will see it. it's it's adorable <laughs> I also just want to say that all the clothes being used here are a mix of like different things I already had at home so we have old clothes like hand-me-downs then we have some thrifted items and then we have one failed shoppy order <laughs> so this shoppy order did not come out the way I was expecting it to so we're going to give it a little remix <laughs> so without further ado Let's get into it. For our first DIY, we're going to turn this old black sweater into a cropped cardigan. So to do this, I gathered my sweater, a pair of scissors, my hot glue gun, and some lace leggings. That are old also, by the way. So first, you just want to crop your tee to whatever length you want it to be. I was feeling extra, so I used fabric chalk and a straight edge, but honestly, if I wasn't filming this, I really would have just done it by hand with no other materials except the scissors. Now what you want to do is just cut your top right down the middle so that it's split in two. Again, there is no need to actually use fabric chalk and a ruler, I just want it to be extra for the video. So once you're done with that, you want to just set your top aside and get your lace fabric. I'm using these old lace leggings that I own that don't fit me anymore and I just cut it down the middle so I could maximize the fabric. Here I'm cutting open the side seam so we can expand the lace. Now I'm just drawing a scalloped detailing over on the straightest edge of my fabric. You don't need fabric chalk for this, you can honestly just freehand it, but again, I want it to be extra and professional for the video. I also folded it over so when I cut, I already have double the fabric and I won't have to redraw the scallop edge. Then you just want to cut along your drawing. As you can see, my cutting skills are far from good. So I just straightened out my other piece to kind of make it look more similar to the first piece. So now what you want to do is take your top again and then flip it inside out and just gauge where you want your lace trimming to be inside. Now I'm using my glue gun to create strips of glue along the edges for when I apply it to the actual top later on. I also recommend putting a book inside your top so that when you're actually placing your lace trimming onto the fabric, you don't burn through. But this is only if you're going to be using a hot glue gun. Obviously, if you're sewing this or using regular fabric glue, you won't really need to do this, I believe. Now I'm just pressing it on. And doing the same thing to the other side. And actually, at this point, you're already done. I decided I just wanted to accessorize the top by adding little bows. I made these out of knots I created from scrap fabrics from earlier. But this is, again, just a personal choice. And voila, this is your final look. I love how this turned out. The lace edges gave it a very dainty look. Plus, the addition of my little bows made it look extra cute. And now I don't have to spend an ungodly amount of money just to get 
basically an open sweater. <laughs> For the second DIY, we will be taking this long thrifted dress and turning it into a mini slip dress. To do this, I just took my dress, some scissors, and a glue gun. Then I laid out my dress and I folded the chest fabric inwards to make it a little bit shorter and less shapeless. If you're going to be working with delicate fabrics like this and a glue gun, your best option is to dot your glue instead of making like clumpy chunks because it might burn through. I forgot to film the part where I actually cropped the dress, but basically I just cut it to my desired length to make it a mini dress. Then I cut this small triangle at the hem to give it that slit effect that I've been seeing on all the mini dresses nowadays. Easy peasy and now you're done. This came out way cuter than I thought it would. It looks so adorable when turned into a mini dress and the green pops out so beautifully. I layered this with a white see-through cover up for the beach and it looks so fresh and so ready for the daytime. So this top that I bought online was supposed to look like this, but since it doesn't, we're gonna make it look like this. I've been seeing these front tie tops everywhere. So the first thing I did, which I forgot to film actually, was cut off the buttons. Then I snipped off four pieces from the shoulder strap since there was a lot of excess string anyway. Then I placed a dollop of glue on the tip of the string. Then I attached this right next to the holes. And I'm just repeating this on another hole. Then I repeated the same process on the other side. Since this was the side where the buttons actually were, meaning there were no pre-existing slits here, I just folded the fabric a little bit, or rather pinched the fabric a little bit. Then I cut a tiny hole. I did this also on the area underneath it. Now, like earlier, I'm just going to take one of my strings Put a dollop and place the string right next to the slit. Do this again on your other hole. I decided that another reason why this looks so bad was because the chest area or the tip of the chest area was asymmetrical. So using my glue gun and a bobby pin, I just pinned down the part that needed to be removed. Then I glued it down so that it wouldn't pop up anymore. And that is your finished product. This might be one of my favorite flips. I loved, loved, loved how this turned out. It looks so cute and looks identical to all of those tie front tops I've been seeing everywhere. And I didn't have to spend any money for it. For the next DIY, we'll be turning this plain dress into a double slitted dress. Literally all I needed for this was the dress, my scissors, and the glue gun. So here we're going to be working on the hem of the dress. Just to be extra, I actually decided to trace out two triangles on the ends of the dress. I used the darts of the dress as my guide to be the center of my triangles. Honestly, if you were doing this without the chalk, you would literally just be cutting two triangles at the bottom of your dress. But again, to be professional for the video, I decided to sketch it out for you guys so you could get a visualization of what those triangles look like. Now, once I finished sketching out my triangles, all I did was cut the triangles out. Once I finished one triangle, I just repeated the exact same process on the other side. To make this look cleaner, I just snipped off the little pieces that I didn't get to cut off properly. Then I went ahead and flipped my dress inside out so that I could properly clean up those edges by hemming it. So I just took my glue gun, created a strip of glue right inside, then I folded my little edges inside and pressed it down to make sure that it wouldn't show through. By doing this, when I flip this inside out, these triangles will look a lot cleaner because we won't have the rough edges we got from cutting it. Then I repeated the same process on the other side. And repeated this on the other triangle as well. 
and honestly that was it you're done I love how this came out too it came out exactly the way I was imagining it these double slits just gave a plain dress a little bit more oomph and that is it for today's video thank you guys so so much for watching I had so much fun doing these projects for you guys honestly I am so in love with all the pieces that I made like not to do my own horn or anything but I'm just super glad that I don't have to spend any more money to get those exact fits because we were able to make it at home together so thank you guys so so much for joining me as always please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and click the notification bell so you can be notified every single time that I post which is every Monday by the way so if you like this video or if you want to see more DIY videos make sure to click the like button as well and leave a comment so I know what other stuff you guys want to see from me in the future also please don't forget to follow all of my socials my Instagram is francis.patran my tech talk is oat headed and my blog is oatheaded.me I'd love to see you guys on all the platforms so that officially ends today's video thank you guys so so much for watching I'll see you guys next week and remember that anyone can channel chic to cheese bye guys